Your first year of college would be both scary and exciting. You will meet new people and make friends who could possibly be in your life forever. You would experience studying for so many hours and feeling so tired and unmotivated. You would just want it to end already. But there would also be days when you're just having the time of your life. Laughing so much and having fun like there's no schoolwork to do. As cheesy as it may sound, college really is like a roller coaster ride. But despite the stress and the hardships, it would be worth it in the end. And today, I am going to try to help you have a good college experience by sharing what I learned in my freshman year. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Gail, a second year medical technology student at the University of Santo Tomas. And today I am finally going to be talking about tips and advice for freshman medtech students or for incoming medical technology students. And everything that I'll be talking about today will be based on my experience and I really hope you will be able to learn a lot. And I also made chai tea latte for this video so that I can drink from time to time so that I can look cool <laughs> and i also have a notebook with me where i wrote down everything that i want to talk about today so that i don't miss anything first is to enjoy your break or to enjoy your summer because i know there are some of you that are thinking of studying in advance and preparing for the subjects that you will take up in your first year of college and that was exactly my mindset a few weeks before college started and i remember i even saw this thread on twitter about someone's notes about the history of medical technology and what i did was I wrote those notes down on a notebook and I was studying it and I thought I was being really productive and I was so motivated and I was like, yes, I'll be so ready when classes start. And aside from that, I also studied anatomy and physiology in advance. I was on Khan Academy and I was memorizing bones and studying other structures because I knew we were going to have an anatomy and physiology class. I knew that you had to memorize so much things in that class, so I decided to study in advance. But then when classes started, I couldn't even remember anything that I studied over the break. So I kind of regretted spending my time studying in advance when I could have just watched Netflix, stayed on YouTube for how many hours, and just enjoy my break. So based on my experience, just enjoy your summer, relax, don't think about school too much because once college starts, you won't have a lot of time to enjoy the things that you want. You won't have a lot of time for Netflix. So just relax and don't think about school. <laughs> Next is to choose your friends wisely because having a friend group that has a positive influence to you is super important because your friends will be able to help you in your college experience, in your college journey. And I'm so blessed that the friends that I have are such good influence to me. And to be honest, our group chat is always about ACADs and when we spend our free time during school days, we usually study. Yeah, and we even make reviewers for all the subjects that we have. We divided the classes that we have amongst us so that we can make reviewers for them. And doing that really helps with our studies. So choose people that would make your college experience a good one. So a third is to learn to manage your time. And this means to avoid procrastinating, to avoid cramming. And based on my experience, professors love to give so much deadlines and tasks before the exam week. And my time management skills get really tested during that period of time. 
time. So I really suggest you practice managing your time and you can do this by using a planner, writing to-do lists. And when professors give deadlines and tasks to do, don't forget to write them down or to put it in your phone. Don't just say that it's in my mind and you will remember it because let's be real, that doesn't really happen. So yeah, by doing that, you will be able to manage your time and you can avoid cramming. But of course, I still procrastinate and cram because sometimes it just can't be avoided. Like no matter how much you plan your time and the tasks that you want, you'll still end up cramming. <laughs> but as much as possible, please learn to manage your time so that you don't get stressed too much. Fourth is to take notes during class. And I really like taking down notes ever since, like even before college, I enjoy writing down notes because I don't know why, I just enjoy it. And sometimes when I get sleepy during class, I write down notes so that I don't fall asleep. So yeah, that's that's a tip. Write down notes when you're sleepy so that you will be able to stay awake. And writing down notes is really helpful because most of the time, what the professor says is not in the book and sometimes it appears in the quizzes and exams. So yeah, writing down notes is important. Fifth is to attend all your classes and as much as possible, please don't skip don't be absent because sometimes professors give incentives to those who are present when a lot of people are absent. So if like almost half of the class is absent and there are still people present in class, the professor will sometimes give incentives to those who attended the class. And aside from incentives, attending your classes is really important because tuition is not cheap and your parents work hard so that you can learn in school so that you can study in a good school so yeah sixth is to learn to accept failure because failure is sometimes inevitable i think it's not always going to be good days there are obviously going to be bad days and sometimes no matter how hard you study how much you've studied you're still going to get like a grade that you don't want and i've experienced that and i've learned to just accept failure and to think of it as a learning process like i use my failure to motivate me to work harder to do better and don't dwell on your failure too much if you get a low grade don't dwell on it too much because you can always make up for it and don't beat yourself up too much if you get a grade that you don't want just use it to motivate you to study harder just use it as an inspiration don't be too sad about it because that's life it just happens and failure helps you to become stronger <laughs> that's so cheesy <laughs> i also found this quote by henry ford which can inspire you and help you when you experience failure and it's failure is simply the opportunity to begin again this time more intelligently Lastly, don't forget to relax. And I know you've heard that medical technology is a difficult course, but don't make studies like the only thing in your life. Step out of your comfort zone to try something new, try to do something fun that you will enjoy because it's important to take breaks and to enjoy your college life, your college experience because you won't have this kind of experience again. So just enjoy it, make the most out of it have fun with your friends it's also important to have fun so that you don't get too burnt out and it's also good for your mental health to take breaks and have fun so those are all the tips and advice that i can give for you freshman students that's all i can think of right now but i know that once i upload this i will be able to think of more so i might make like a part two of this video and i also want to make a, a q and a video so if you have any questions about medical technology i will try to answer them in another video so if you enjoyed watching this please give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on the notification bell and if you have any questions don't forget to leave a comment below and yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video bye